I've been losing coolant, so I did a pressure test and found out that I had a leak by the water pump right here. So I have all this stuff off. And you can see kind of the residue from it. So I have a new water pump and a belt, and I'm gonna replace that right now. I found that it was easier to remove this motor mount in order to access the two screws or two bolts on the top of the tensioner and to get to the bottom one I lowered the, the engine. The way the water pump works is there's this this tensioner so there's the crankshaft that spins uses friction here to turn this pulley. There's this lever right here so if you pull it it removes the friction from both the belts so you do that again. So you have to remove this tensioner in order to, to get to the water pump. It didn't have a pry bar long enough to relieve this tensioner right there. It's this device right there. It puts tension on this belt that keeps it in place. Imagine it's putting tension like this. Um, you're supposed to use a pry bar to lift it up to remove the tension. I didn't have a pry bar long enough so I used this 2x4 and part of it split because I used this before. I cut a hole in this to use it for something else. But I was able to lift it high enough where I'm able to loosen this belt. I'm just gonna pull the belt off and then put the new belt in and then do this process again. On the left we have the old belt. If you look closely, you can see a lot of cracks. And the right belt, there's no cracks. On the right is the old water pump and on the left is the new one. This one's made out of metal and this one is made out of plastic. And you can see that there's some build up right there. And over here, <coughs> this is <coughs> the old surface. I'm gonna wipe it down. I have it pressurized at, it's supposed to be 21.8 PSI, but it's at 22. So I'm just gonna check here to make sure that it's not leaking. And it doesn't appear to be, but I'm gonna wait five minutes to see if the pressure drops.